Hey guys, what's up? Merry Christmas, Big John TV. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you watching. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful day, wonderful holiday, whichever way you choose to celebrate. I'm glad you're with us. With, I'm glad you're with us. So thank you. Got a cool video for you today. It's gonna be very festive. We're in a couple things. It's a Wednesday, so we're gonna have a very small recipe video for you today, and then we're gonna finish off with an annual tradition here at the Big John TV house. We're gonna go look at some Christmas lights in our neighboring town that we really love. I think it's going to be a good video. I think you guys are going to enjoy it. So let's get going. All right. So you guys know that's that Christmas song. What's it? What's the name of that song? Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. What a clever name. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Thanks, Mom. She's in the other room. You'll see them at some point this evening, too. Chestnuts. Are you guys experienced in eating chestnuts? Not a normal thing around here. Not something we do all the time. I think I've only tasted a chestnut once in my entire life. But, because we're festive and we're having fun, and we like trying new things, we're talking chestnuts today. I'm going to show you how to prep them, show you how to cook them. And it, We're in a house and it's raining outside, so it's not going to be on an open fire. But I'm going to show you how to do the next best method. We're going to eat them, and then we're going to go on with our evening. So, we got here... Just over a pound of chestnuts. So this is a chestnut. Touch that screen for me, please. All right. So there's a chestnut. And then we're going to get started. <laughs> All right. Let's get cooking them. All right, so the first step in prepping chestnuts is to make sure that they're not moldy. Apparently that's a big thing. Um, from what I've read on the internet, the best method of doing that is to float them, or to put them into water. The, double checking my website here, good nuts will usually sink and moldy ones will usually float. Not a perfect method, but it's a good start. So I got a bowl of water here. I'm gonna dump them in and see where we're at. So this is also a good method right now for getting them cleaned off. Any gunk that's on them will come off now. So the bad thing is, and it, it said about half of them will end up being moldy. I guess that's a big problem. But what I'm looking at is we've got about 10 that are not floating. So I'll take those out first. And I, I'd like, I don't know if that means we shouldn't cook the other ones or if we should go ahead and do it just to double check them. Maybe I'll put them on a separate side of the pan when they're roasting. So let's do it that way. Let's go like this. I'll put these here and I'll open up a couple of them and see what they look like inside. And if I think they look ugly, we'll get rid of them and won't bother cooking them. And if they look healthy, then I'll go ahead and continue. So we're gonna take the nut and I'm going to score it with the serrated knife. Just a quick X. Doing that will prevent them from exploding when you're cooking them. So I'm going to hammer out the rest of these, line them onto a cookie sheet, and we'll go from there. All right, so here are the for sure good ones. Hopefully for sure. I don't know, I don't have that much experience. So these ones sunk, they're supposed to be good, not moldy. All right, just for making sure sake, I'm gonna score a bunch of the other ones too. I'm gonna put them on a separate pan into the oven. We're gonna turn the broiler on the oven. Our broiler's on top. It gets super, super hot. These are gonna go right underneath there. It's supposed to take 10 to 15 minutes, but you gotta keep an eye on them because you, you want them to, to cook take it good and dark, but you don't want to burn the heck out of them. You know what I mean? And the X marks should be where they open up. And that'll let the steam out and that'll get them to cook. So that's going to be the next step. Into the broiler, under the broiler. Come on. Come on. You 
can see the skins are starting to curve up, peel away from the meat. Alright, the skins, the shells on the outside are starting to get really dark, and the meat's starting to look golden. These are probably almost done. Alright, now the meat inside is starting to bubble. We're about 10 minutes in right now. So these are just about finished. We're getting a nice color on the outside, really dark. I'm about to pull these. Alright, I think these are good. Some of them have split fully open now. Let's go shell them and eat them. Alright, those look good. They smell good. They said to wait, don't not wait too long to start shucking them because they're easier to do while they're still hot. So Steam coming out, good and hot. There it is. There's some meat. All right, so yeah, I got the papery skin off there. They're kind of like a walnut too, where you get that shell and then the other paper. Oh gosh, these are hot. All right. So let me get some of these shucked and then we'll, I guess we'll just start eating. We'll get the kids called in here and... Oh! That one was hotter than the last one. Oh. Chestnuts roasted my fingers. Alright, since it was his idea, let's get Dad in here. This is my dad. Not very many appearances at Big John TV. <laughs> these are a lot of work to shell once they're cooked. I think we got enough meat on the plate now for everybody to get a little bit of a sample and then we'll just continue with the process and the resting and hanging out and you know cracking nuts to eat but there's a pile of the meat the shelled nuts very potato -y, very starchy texture in the in the nut as it's coming out it does suggest um, melted butter to dip in melted butter and um, a sprinkling of salt. A sprinkling of salt in a cup of, what's it, glog? Glug. Glug of some sort. I don't even know what that means. but It's, it's like three different alcohols mixed together. Say, some sort of alcoholic dish would be my assumption. So, um, I'm going to go in with the butter. The glass is really hot, so be careful. Here we go. That's good. Probably could have been cooked a little bit longer. Oh. Good. Good and buttery at that point. Very good. Maddie, Jamie, come here. Okay. Maddie, have a little bit. Try okay. some on. I don't want to. Oh, you gotta try it's a little not. bit. Ew. It's toasted nuts, buddy. Ew, ew. It's toasted nuts. You like toasted nuts. Are you on camera, man? What do you think? It has a weird texture. It's definitely not a nut texture. It's more like here, you ready? Can I dip in I think you? it's similar to Stay boiled with. peanuts. Stay with. I don't want Are you on there? Yes. Come on, man. I don't want any. No. Nope. Alright, fine. I'll, I'll do that one. Pretty darn good. You want to swap cameras and have oh, mom yeah. and ma'am jump in here too? Get the whole family in on this tonight? We could. Alright. Maddie, you seem to like it, huh? I like the butter. <laughs> Just need something to dip. <laughs> You wanna? Turn it on. All right. All right, ladies. All right. You already know. You already know the mom, the ma'am there. This one still had some skin on it. So it's got that outer shell and then an inner layer of like paper. So Ooh, got we, any any of those pieces there should be good. You wanna try it with or without butter? Up to you. The dish is hot though, so be careful. Probably not anymore. This house is cold. Yeah. Kind of a lot of work for what you're getting. Definitely a lot of work for what you're getting. Hmm. But, it's fun. That one was a little bit sweeter than the last one I tasted. Hmm. Hmm. It's an interesting, interesting flavor. Interesting food item for They're sure. Almost like a cashew texture. Kind of. Soft, a softer nut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So there you go, guys. We've roasted chestnuts in the open broiler mm -hmm. of the oven. 
and you've seen almost yeah pretty much all of the big john tv crew here at this house so that's it yeah mm -hmm. well, let's close out this video we're going to go on a field trip we're going to take you with us we're going to drive a little bit around show you you know our top four or five houses that we'd like to see with christmas lights so let's go all right hit the road Look at all the Disney stuff. What's your favorite character out here, Meg? Um, I don't know. Jack Skellington and Sally? Yeah. I like the Dalmatians. And I like that their topiaries are cut in the shape of Mickey Mouse. Pretty cool, that's a lot of lights too. I like the chimney campaign. Mm -hmm. Alright, on to the next one. I like their candies going up the walkway. Oh, there's a little Santa's mailbox here. Oh, yeah. Look, you can see my glove. Can you? Oh, nice. This one says it's two days, 14 hours and 15 minutes till Christmas. That is true. Hey, can you find the speaker? I don't. Oh, yep, Jamie found the speaker. All right, let's walk back. I'm on one. Go ahead. Oh. Got Sophia, Elsa, and Anna, Cinderella, and Cinderella's castle. Even a giant Olaf. Look, it's the dump it to crump it. Mm. Oh, this is Whoville. I like the archway too, that's kind of cool. So many things to look at. Do you have a favorite, Maddie? Um, How about Santa's horse here? I kind of like this horse. Kind of cool. There's Dory! Oh my gosh, so many cool ones. There's a candy castle. Alright, back in the car we go. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I hit it. Alright guys. Oh, that light is dangerous. Maybe I should hold it a little bit further away. Maybe. There we go. So, the chestnuts were delicious. A lot of work for what you get. But it was a fun little thing to do. And hope you guys enjoyed the field trip. 
Christmas light tour. Um, one of our annual traditions, we love doing that. And mm -hmm. it's so much different from when we went as kids. Yep. So many different things to see now. The and there's, ups are really interesting. And there's less houses that go all out like that too, I, I feel. Yeah, probably. But, you used to be impressed if people had more than like their eaves done. Right. So, all right. Hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Holidays. Thank you guys for everything. What are you doing, son? Nothing. Nothing? All right. Matt, are you still there too? Yes. Yeah? Barely. It is late. These kids need to go to bed. Um, thanks for hanging out with us. I uh, appreciate you all. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging. Appreciate you. Like, sub like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Right, Jim? Mm-hmm. And Maddie's not mad because she's looking at Christmas lights. That's right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll catch you on the next one. All right. See Bye. you guys. Merry Christmas.